Welcome to a quick recap of the ZZZ 1.1 special program. I'm Vincent and here's what you can expect of the new 1.1 patch. Main thing to look forward to is some story content in the form of a special episode called Undercover R&B. We'll get to sink our teeth into a story following the PubSec faction characters as well as Jane Doe will take on the role of antagonist. There she is! There's Jane Doe! Oh damn, she's fine! The trailer suggests there will be some pretty dramatic developments in the story. There will also be a new agent-specific story for Chingy this update for players that want to get to know her better. The two main characters that will be released during version 1.1 are Chingy, an S-rank electric stunner from PubSec, and Jane Doe, an S-rank physical anomaly agent from a currently unknown faction. Alongside these two agents, we'll also have an A-rank electric defender agent in the form of Seth Lowell, the white-haired catboy wielding, I kid you not, a charge blade of all things. Guy must really like Monster Hunter. For those interested in getting new bang boos, we have Officer Sui. We will be able to target him in the guaranteed S-rank bang boo selection screen. Interesting to note is that during the undercover R&B missions, players will be able to run around the overworld areas as Jane Doe. This is not a full implementation of the system that will allow you to use your agents to run around the world, however. The devs are working on it, but it is a system that will be brought to us later down the line. Version 1.1 will bring us new events such as Inferno Reap, where we'll be facing off against Nineveh directly, so no TV gameplay here. Players will have to run through the Withering Garden, collecting Rezonium kits before they can take on the Time Trial Challenge against Nineveh. Another event is the Camellia Golden Week. This one sadly does seem to have the TV gameplay, and we'll have to go through various puzzle gameplay before we can get our rewards, which do include an A rank W engine. First Class Customer Service is another event that will see you repairing customers' video players. It's just a small, timing-focused minigame that will net you some reward. The Daily Life of a PubSec Officer is an event I wasn't really expecting. It has this papers please feel to it, but what you're actually doing is just answering questions and earning points for the right answers. Scene 1, Shot 1 is a photo taking event. You'll receive a photo assignment with certain requirements, complete the requirements and you'll net your rewards, simple as that. Version 1.1 also comes with a selfie function that is a decent addition to the game, but I'm not sure how much it will be appreciated. I'm more gameplay focused, so these features are more of a miss for me. But maybe there's a lot of players out there that just want to take a picture with their favorite agents or NPCs. For a blessing, it does seem to have more character and features than Hoyo's photo features in their other games. The last two events are Immersive Tactical Drill and Shiyu Defense Special Operation. The special program didn't go into detail regarding these two events, but if I were to guess, Immersive Tactical Drill is an event that will give a boost to the items you gain when spending your energy in the HIA, while the Shiyu Defense Special Program will unlock a new area in the Shiyu Defense game mode. To bring things to a close, version 1.1 will give players 10 and encrypted master tapes and 10 boupons with their login events. Right after the end of the special program, a letter was posted on screen detailing how the dev team is actively listening to player feedback and working hard to try to improve the game. It seems that the mixed opinion of the game after launch has caught their attention and they'll strive to improve player experience overall, which is a nice sentiment to express. Don't forget to redeem the code from the special program as it's only available for a limited time. You can check the description below to find the code as well as my socials if you want to find me on Twitter or Twitch. Leave a like, comment, and a sub if you enjoy the vid, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a good one.